Hi, my name is Yair, and today we'll speak about our high availability architecture within Arrayty.10. Many of our customers choose to deploy multiple copies of a security management service for the sake of redundancy, which means always having at least one backup server, and load sharing, the ability to assign some of your admins in read-only mode to a secondary server. This configuration is called high availability, or commonly referred to as HA. You can deploy security management in HA for a single security management server or for a multi-domain environment. The Already.10 security management platform utilizes the dynamic lightweight revisions to make a more capable HA deployment. The key thing is how you sync between these multiple servers. Prior to R80, a full database sync was done either automatically or manually. The active peer would go over the entire database configuration, identify all data tables that had a change, and send the entire table state to the secondary peer. Then the secondary peer would replace each of these tables entirely with the ones that were sent from the main peer. This is called full sync, something that is recommended to do during off hours when fewer admins are connecting to those servers. An HA sync with already.10 is called partial sync. It consists only of the difference between the last time of the sync. Getting the difference is simple and fast, because the already.10 security management database is made out of revisions. As a result, the default sync happens automatically every time a user publishes his changes, as well as every three minutes for each domain. Your data remains up to date on standby machines. This is new with already.10. In this example, the active peer has the following data table, and the standby peer has this data table. Once J publishes his changes, a partial sync is made. The HA worker within the CPM process identifies the operations which are missing at the standby peer and sends just these operations. The partial sync happens through a service connection between the two servers. Because the changes are rather small, there is no need to export and import sync files during this operation. You may be asking yourself, which process actually manages the HA operations? Well, prior to R80, it was the FWM process which made full HA synchronizations. R80.10 security management, however, consists of the CPM process, which manages the security management databases and provides reliability, validations, and revisions for our users. The Smart Console GUI applications and the REST APIs are the only ways of interacting with the CPM. In addition, the CPM also manages all HA logistics. Having your data up to date at a secondary peer is very useful. For example, you can run your reporting scripts on an up-to-date copy of the security management server, or have someone monitoring the configuration with read-only permissions, even without logging into the active management server. The data that they will see will continue to be up to date. Full sync is an option that can be run manually, for example, in the case of a sync failure alert. It also runs automatically once the CPM process identifies that the peer which was down is now back up, and if the number of operations was too large to send as a regular service. You can perform a manual full sync between the HA peers from the bottom status bar in a smart console. If you have an HA deployment, you can see the HA barrel like so. Clicking on it lets you get more information and perform additional actions. To summarize, you don't need to initiate full sync operation anymore. Your data is already on the secondary server with the help of our CPM. This saves you countless time and lets the secondary server act as a reliable resource to run operations. Join the conversation, connect and share with the Checkpoint experts and the entire community at community.checkpoint.com. Thank you.